Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olesis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Chen 丘陵、盆地和沙漠，山川地貌非常多样化。广大无垠的领土和独一无二的地形，缔造丰富多元的文化、宗教和生活方式。中国被尊为四大文明古国之一，文化丰富，源远流长，有四千多年的历史。的确，中国是诸子百家学说思想和宗教的重镇，是孔教和道教发源地。紫禁城位于首都北京的市中心，是中国明清两朝的皇宫。金雕细琢的紫禁城是中国传统建筑的极致代表。联合国教科文组织将紫禁城列为世界文化遗产。很荣幸能让您一瞥中国奇妙的文化与历史，祝福您拥有健康、幸福和满足这些最宝贵的礼物。青海无上师三十多年来以神圣教理照亮世界这位完全开悟的名师传授观音法门帮助渴望的求道者即刻开悟一世解脱所有开悟名师都修观音法门如佛陀耶稣基督先知穆罕默德祝他平安和古鲁
他以各种方式倡导纯素生活，例如广发传单。您也可以选择这样的生活：创设爱家国际连锁纯素餐厅、无上师电视台。他也经常呼吁政府和媒体领袖，并参加气候变迁视讯会议，无论世人是否警觉。其努力影响世人之具，唤醒人们选择善待动物的生活，并奉行慈悲之道，天下才能永久太平，救地球免于气候变迁。青海无上师多年来足迹遍布全球，从美国到非洲，欧洲到大洋洲，对大众和他的徒弟讲经开示数百场。阐释各种灵性主题，今天有幸为您播出其中一场睿智开示。师徒之间节目，善用爱心与和善。八集之四，二零一二年四月二十七、二十八日，以英语开示于奥地利。Okay, anything you want tell me? If not, then.、Uh... I go there. Tell me, ah, you she want to keep me here. <laughs> One guy wrote to me a letter, like a friend,、mm. that I should leave you because news newspaper said stuff about you.、Mm -hmm. And I say no, 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 no. This is not true because I was there. I know she's not talking. She didn't do this.、Mm -hmm. But anyhow, if you want to believe, you believe, and then you will be ashamed in the end. So whatever.、Mm. And this guy,、uh, and. Also, I say, okay, if you don't believe me, you don't have to believe me. But I am like sad, you know, like woman,、mm -hmm. because he he's a man. I was using like woman a little.、Mm, yeah, yeah. I say, okay, if you don't believe me, then don't need to believe yeah, me. I'm so sad, <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> and you know, this guy, he is not initiated,、uh -huh. and he、uh, took your books、yes. and read the books,、uh -huh. and he wrote back to me after three weeks、uh -huh. that. Uh, she, this is you, you know,、mm -hmm. uh, because uh, he, I didn't talk to him like you are master.、Mm -hmm. I say, Madam Chinghai, you know.、Mm. Uh, so he wrote to me. She didn't do anything what newspaper said. He wrote to you. He、yes. said,、like, How does he know?、Uh, he wasn't even there. From your books. Oh, I and see. And then he said to me, he wrote, "This is battle between good and bad." Ah,、uh, the battle between good and bad. Ah,、yeah. then he knew it. It's good. It's good. It's. Mostly the newspaper or television, they want sensation. Yeah. They just make it bigger than it is, and、uh, it's not just this time. But never mind, you know. It is、uh, the price to pay for rescuing people and the planet. You can't do good thing in this world and be praised or be loved, you know,、mm, by all. Yes, maybe a small group of people would love you, but. Not everybody, okay? Because this world, I told you already, is this the world of <laughs> struggle and and war? You know, up to now, it's still like that. All the people who have this kind of mentality will be born in this world, just to live like this kind of life. That's why it's、uh, difficult for them to even understand the plain things that we we understand. It was so plain that、like, when we talk, like for example, when I talk, you understand right away. The first day, so you come and get initiation. But how many people understand it? They didn't. And some of you maybe see me with a lot of light around me, but other people don't see nothing. It's just、uh, too busy criticize my glorious clothes, <laughs> or my hair, or my lipstick, or whatever. You know, they don't see anything else. This is the thing. Yes. So now, how many master you saw? The real, I mean, the true one, never had good things. Never have good.、Uh, Comment, <laughs> mostly not in this world. Yeah, look at Jesus. I even attempted assassinate Buddha many times. Somebody even cut one of his toe off. You know,、uh, missing, missing. <laughs> so just one toe cut off, for example, like that. And then、uh, one time he he was so、uh, cornered or something he could not eat, had nothing to eat. He has to eat like horse、uh, stuff, you know, for three months. Host,、uh, huh? Oh, oh. Not even old men. Is that good? Host, old. 
you know, those uh, dry stuff, sometimes they mix it with uh, hay. Huh? hay or stuff. You know, it's not really good oats like you eat for breakfast. It's just yeah. too kind. <laughs> you are very positive. <laughs> I'm glad, but it's the wrong time. <laughs> good idea, wrong, wrong time. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. You know, they, they won't hurt me. <laughs> they won't hurt me. Yes. I mean, they couldn't hurt me anymore. Uh, then already did. Well, this world is like that, okay? And I knew it already before I begin this mission. But uh, of course, knowing in advance and being hit by it at that time, it was different. Yeah, I did cry also many times, feeling sorry for the world, that they are so blind. I wrote the Stone Buddha. I told you that I have forgotten. I sing only two. <laughs> I think I remember some now, like... My dogs, they, they don't like it because normally I'm with them meditating. Some, I remember some now. Hello, Buddha, why do you cry? Talking to the stone Buddha, eh? stone Buddha, because I couldn't even talk to <laughs> living Buddha. Hello, Buddha, why do you cry? In your stone heart, any desire? Why do your tears run down the sea? Why give your love to the pebble? Oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha, why did you leave Nirvana? Oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha, what is here to search for? Endless pain and sorrow. Oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha, why did you live Nirvana? Something like that. <laughs> It's a very nice song. When I wrote it, I cry a lot. When I sang it first time, I cry a lot. Now I don't cry anymore. <laughs> it seemed like just a nice song, yeah? Hello, Buddha, why do you cry? In your stone heart, any desire? Why do your tears stream down the sea? Why give your love to the pebbles? <laughs> Why give your love to the stones, <laughs> to the pebbles? Useless. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah? <laughs> I don't feel it. Hello, Buddha. Why do you cry? Oh, I think I forgot something. <laughs> I better go get it. I go get the thing, okay? <laughs> okay, maybe I can sing for you. <laughs> if I have it. I probably have it, I probably don't. <laughs> I don't know. If I have it, okay? Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good news. I only remember this one. <laughs> I really like that song. I mean, the real version. Not the one they printed. Because I just printed the translator and they printed it. It's not the real version. Hello, Buddha, why do you cry? In your stone heart, how much desire? Why do your tears stream down the sea? Why give your love? To the pebble. Oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha, why did you leave Nirvana? What is here to search for? Endless pain or sorrow? 
Back to where no sorrow, only joy eternal, only love, no border. Hello Buddha, why do you smile? And your stone heart is full of light. Why do your arms embrace the world? Why does your love shine forever? Oh Buddha, oh Buddha, oh Buddha, oh Buddha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Something more? Good news? Uh, Master, I was just thinking like um, the hotel had before blessing line, now have uh, heaven portal and heaven gate. Mm -hmm. In Slovenia, we have only two uh, two blessing line. Can mm -hmm. we, as a kind of Slovenian group, Uh, how can we maybe help to spread the web? Shall we meditate more at different places? Or have group yeah, meditation many more times? Yeah, if you can. If you can have different places, good yeah. also. But if you're strong enough, even if you stay in one place, also spread. Okay. But also, it's, of course, it's good if you can spread it out, mm -hmm. yeah? <laughs> And in, in the beginning, maybe the new place doesn't feel as good as the old place, because you have to clean it up first, you know, I mean, the environment. But later on, it will feel just as good. Yeah. Even here, when I first came here, oh, I have headache often. I never had it for, I don't, I don't remember how long. Very strange headache. And my tears keep running down. <laughs> even, even though I'm not facing the, the light like, like normally in a big group meditation, I keep turning down all day. <laughs> But today is okay. Even if I'm facing here, it doesn't run down like that. See what I mean? And now and then a little bit, but not like running, running. Yeah. Because this place sometimes, I don't mean this uh, room, maybe this room is better, because you come often and meditate and uh, no other come up. All right, love. Anything else? Yes, Slovenia, Slovenia, huh? I wanted to go there, but I don't know anybody. You know me. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can come to my place, but it's so small. So, How small? I normally have small places, you know meters. that. Huh? 55, 55. 55? You call that small? <laughs> I told you I have four by four. No, uh, it's small maybe for you and three dogs and uh, two attendants. Enough? Oh, it's enough. Wow. <laughs> Why you say small? Um, I just have feeling that uh, maybe you need some space because before you were talking how sometimes um, if your picture is... <laughs> I feel what? If you feel sometimes you feel too um, like squashed, um, you don't feel space. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's okay. the people, it's not the space. Uh, okay. Yes, I told you I feel lonely among people. But when I'm in the mountain alone, I just feel good, so good. Yeah. You know, sometimes uh, you stay together with people in the city. You feel like you need a woman, you need a man, you need a boyfriend, a girlfriend to comfort you or to come home, to run into their arms or just to feel like you belong somewhere, you know? But if you are in the mountain alone, you don't ever feel like that. I can tell you something like... A I was uh, with my boyfriend, like yes. we just broke, and before I felt I felt many times lonely. I was I bought myself flowers because I was living alone. Mm -hmm. But now, since we broke, I feel very yeah. happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> What kind of boyfriend is that? <laughs> no, no. Sometimes it's not yeah. because of him, honey. Yeah, I understand oh, it's not you. Because of, okay, yeah, I, I thought it's, I thought you. it's because of him. Uh -huh, no, no, okay. no, no. It's because of him, but it's not because of him. Uh -huh. Yeah, the thing is like this. When you're alone, you organize your life. 
you arrange your space and you know what time you want to do what or you don't want to do what or you don't care whenever you do what, yes? But when you're together with somebody, you have to arrange it with him or with her, you see? And then you, and then normally, because you're boyfriend and girlfriend, you expect a lot of affection and help and cuddling and attention. And when you don't get that, then you feel bad. You feel lonely. True, true, yes. But if you're alone, then you know, nobody here. Well, is somebody here to hug me? No, nobody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hug myself then. <laughs> See what I mean? Then you don't expect. The expectation is what hurts. Because the two persons cannot read each other's mind. Sometimes he's tired. He worked long hours or he been, uh, you know, fed up with the tax office or whatever. And then he come home and you expect a, a, a hug. And he just couldn't do it at that time. And you think he don't like you. You think maybe today he saw somebody prettier or something. You know how the mind just trick you all the time. You see, I mean, he could be the best husband in the whole world, but he's just a human and he has a body and sometimes his body is tired and he has emotion and sometimes his emotion doesn't match with your emotion at that particular moment when you need it most. But he couldn't read your mind that you really need it today. Okay. But he should feel, you no, know. No, no, he can't. <laughs> he feels, okay, maybe, but he has so many other things to feel and it's overcrowded him and he couldn't pick out which one, okay? He couldn't pick out which one is more important or, or maybe he feels for you, but then in a flash and then the tax <laughs> money coming and the, 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 the lousy customer today or the, the bad colleagues or anything else, it just come flooding in and kill immediately the feeling that he just intuitively feel for you. You see what I mean? It kills it. So if you want him to know, just tell him. All right, today I really need you a lot. If, if you don't not really very busy with every urgent thing, please let's go out have a coffee or hug each other or cuddle on bed for a while. Yeah, just tell him, okay? Or tell her, whoever. Tell. Because you cannot read each other's mind. That is the problem. That's why we have this body. It stops everything. It protects you from other people's uh, bad projection. And it protects you from not knowing. Sometimes he thinks anything bad <laughs> protects you not to be hurt. But he's maybe feeling for the next girl or something in a moment or two, you know. But it also stops you or stops him from knowing each other's feeling. You know, the door stops the wind, but also stops the fresh air as well. Do you understand that? Sure. So if you want him to do something, tell him. Especially emotional part. Men, they're not very very good at that. But I kept telling and didn't change. At that moment only. No, okay. You know, every day is different. You tell him today, but tomorrow at three o'clock you feel bad that today you feel bad at seven o'clock. <laughs> 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 He couldn't guess it. He forgot also, honey, he forgot, because he's also busy, okay? And men are not so emotionally, so very uh, sensitive, like women. That is the problem. That's why they have muscle, né? and they have other things, and we have other things. So we complement each other. I'm just telling you, but by me also, just don't ask me, I do exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I expect him to read my mind, yeah, I will. <laughs> I would, <laughs> yes, because when we are in this emotionally upsetting state, we cannot think like what I'm saying right now, okay? So if you love him, then forgive him and start it again. And you have to expect that sometimes he forget, and you have to expect that sometimes he physically or emotionally not fit. You know, emotion also sometimes gets sick, just like physical body. We get sick sometimes, get tired. The emotional. Sometimes get worn out also, not because of you, but because of outside factor. You know, like working lousy with a colleague, so today customer complain too much, or some, uh, some goods he ordered did not arrive, and he's stuck with no food to serve people, and people with the waiting, and he don't do his best. Anything happen, and then he's like ruined inside when he comes home. Okay? Same with you. You have days when you feel top of the world, Some days you really need his arm to run back into. But that sometimes that time the arm's not there. That is a problem. <laughs> the arm's somewhere else. <laughs> because his mind's somewhere else. Not because he doesn't love you. Believe me. Believe me. 
men are mostly very, very emotionally faithful. And they do really, really respect their girlfriend or wife. Unless some extreme case, they would never want to leave. Do you understand me? It's just sometimes we be together too long already. We take each other also for granted. That's another thing. Uh, another thing, because uh, in this world, so many things crowded our heart, our mind. And then we forget the priority that family comes first. Family is where you take refuge in. So you must make an effort to keep that family tight so that you can come home and feel peace there and feel love there. Otherwise, everywhere is ruined. If you bring your work home in your mind, then you ruin your house also, and then you have nowhere to go. Understand? Even your, if you have a house, but you won't have a home. You have a girl, but you don't have a friend. So remember, what is priority? And forgive each other and start again, if you can. Okay? If just because uh, he neglects you, then he can change. He can. But just tell him at that moment, every day. Of course, it's difficult to tell him. We don't like to beg for emotion, for, for, for hug, or beg for affection. This is the thing. But so he just, the guy just doesn't know. Believe me, if you ask him, he really doesn't feel it. He I will didn't know. tell him. I will tell him. Yeah? <laughs> Keep telling him. He will not know it. Understand? Because he's too busy elsewhere. And the same with me. Believe me, you think I'm always affectionate to everybody. It's not true. It's not like that. If I'm busy with something more bigger than life, don't go near me, huh? <laughs> Just don't say anything, don't ask anything, don't even say, I love you, Master, because I don't need it. <laughs> At that moment, I just need concentration. I just need to, to, to solve something, you know, like national crisis, <laughs> for example, economic problem of Europe, uh, thing like that, okay? Truly, we are all victims here. We are victims here. Victims of the bombardment of this very, very uh, heavy world that we couldn't even come. Sometimes we even forget ourselves. You know, sometimes I'm so busy that I even forget to clean my nails. And sometimes I thought, my God, what kind of woman are you? Look at your nails. And then I forget to do it again. I continue to. To, to, to take care of my other thing, you know, um, my train of thought and my concentration. You know, sometimes I'm so ashamed that my, my feet are so wrinkled and dry and, you know, hard. And I was so ashamed I had to wear socks to cover it. You know? <laughs> and uh, sometimes I sit with my, even my assistant, girl or boy, I, I have to cover it because I feel so ashamed I didn't take care of myself. You understand me? Lucky you came today, so I dyed my hair, I washed my body and... <laughs> Yeah, I do a little bit of nail stuff, but sometimes I don't even do that. Not even myself, I would remember, not to talk about any boyfriend or girlfriend, you know? Yeah? So if you can't do it, then leave alone. Of course, you feel better, then it's also fine. You know why you feel better? You just need a break. Good. You need a space, but maybe you miss him and you come back to him again. That's fine. Now and then you can just separate and t take a break. Don't do anything like ultimate. Just say, okay, I need a break. I don't know when. Not one week. One year. <laughs> I don't know when, but I tell you. Okay? So don't, don't make the ultimatum. So in case you miss him again, you don't lose your face, you beg him coming back, huh? <laughs> Just say, I need a break. Okay? Yeah. Talk together and say, oh, look here, lately I feel very run down and you are not a help. You don't hug me when I, I feel bad and you don't see my face when I feel sad. You should be able to feel it. But he's also maybe a busy man, understand? And uh, just like me, you know, I'm sorry if any become my boyfriend. I think he's going to be very, very miserable, <laughs> worse than you. Because I'm always elsewhere, mostly, you know? To be affectionate and uh, romantic, you must have a certain amount of relaxation. And you must not have too much stress on your work, okay? If both of you don't have the same level of stress, then one have two less, one have two more, then cannot understand each other very well. That's all. But please, don't forget his good qualities and good time together. And just maybe you have to talk it out or write it down the point that you want him to do so that he can read it every day like a Bible, and then he won't forget. <laughs> 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 She's so happy, so happy, laughing like that. 
Yes, yeah, sometimes he needs reminding, okay, honey? Yeah, okay. Just you, you're too proud to ask. I know that. All women are like that. And we expect the men to understand everything. They don't. They're an idiot. Don't you know that? <laughs> 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 yes, but don't forget we... In this world, you know, it's even more lonely if you don't have a good friend. Yeah, I, have, I, have, I have a good friend. Boy or no, girl? her. Okay? Yes, yes. But she cannot uh, replace a, a, a man. It's different. Yeah, okay. Unless you are a lesbian, then I'll say nothing. <laughs> or a bi. <laughs> there are some bi people, they like both, you know, <laughs> from both sides. Yeah. Okay. Uh, listen, I feel that, that you guys are just having a little, you know, temporary break up, but you will come back together again. Have you been together how long? Seven years. Seven years. It's just a seven year each. You know that? <laughs> In uh, English, they say there's two phrases of the relationship where it may break or it may make three years and seven years. Three years each and seven years each. Now you just need a little rest, okay? And think about it. And if you really, truly want to get rid of him, it's not that difficult. <laughs> the guy will not do anything. He's a vegetarian. He keeps the five precepts. He can't do much. <laughs> okay? He will leave you alone then. But maybe you don't want to lose him. Okay? Up to you. Yeah. How about him? Does he feel happy without you? No, huh? No. I told you. I told you. Men are more faithful than women. That's definitely like that. But he should True. put some more effort, you know? He just waits <laughs> until I come back. Oh, that's a guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he does nothing. He just waits. He does nothing. Hey, he's you know, a good boy. I know, but you know, he he like he just stands and waits until I come back. He should, Understand? Yeah, he should make a. Yeah, step. yeah, that's bad. No, oh, that's yeah, bad. That, I know man. that. I know that male ego. You always humble yourself down. It won't hurt. Okay, if you really love her, what's the harm? Nobody know. I, I, she won't tell me that you come and beg in her. No, she won't tell me. She won't tell anybody. Even if she tells, so what? You know, you humble a little bit, and you have a beautiful woman. Hmm. Yeah, who makes you happy, and uh, miserable without? See. <laughs> so, so the price is not high. Do it. Make an effort. Express. Okay. Sometimes it's hard for a man to say sorry, but I don't see why. I don't see why either. Yeah. Even if she's wrong, so what? You know. <laughs> Even if she's wrong, so what? Okay? So what? She's yours. Okay? You, you know, uh, Steve, Steve Wonder, he sings that song. When a man loves a woman, she can't do no wrong. Remember that? Okay. She has her woman's side of temperament. Okay? You, a guy, you can bear stress better. You're tougher, stronger. But she cannot bear stress very well in this world. So you must understand that and give up a little bit. Give in a little bit. It won't hurt you. It will make you feel more like, okay, I'm a gentleman. Yeah, I understand her. I forgive her, tolerate her, and I really make her happy. Okay? That makes you happy. It doesn't matter if you lose your face or what. Who, who is there to see? Only her. She knows your face very well. So you can't lose it. <laughs> Yeah, please. Thank May your days 
be filled with inner peace, joy, and serenity. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com/pmd.